Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell. Today, I thought I'd show you guys these 23 vintage Hot Wheels cars that I recently purchased from my local Craigslist. The first eight vintage Hot Wheels um, were made in Hong Kong, and the remaining 15 vintage Hot Wheels were all made in Malaysia. Um, they range from around 1979, well, 78, 79, up to around um, 1986, 87. That's a year range of these 23 vintage um, Hot Wheels cars. They're all over 30 years old. So, yeah, they are vintage. All right, first up, um, let me get my magnifying glass because my old eyes can't read this print anymore. Okay, so first up, we got the Auburn um, 852. Um, I think it's a really nice looking car. Love that car. Okay, and there it is. Mint in the package. And there's the rear of the package. Maybe you can read that. You know, pause the video and read that. Okay. Now, these don't have their full blister pack, but you're lucky to find these vintage Hot Wheels like this in even a blister pack like this because this guarantees that they are in mint condition and they've never been tampered with. Okay. So, yeah. I'll even buy them in this condition if they're at least 25 years old. Yeah, so yeah, there's that one, the Auburn 852. Next up, we've got the, let me use my magnifying glass, the 1935 Classic Caddy, or Cadillac. Most of these cars from this time period, they do have a metal chassis and a metal base. And notice it says new model. <clears throat> that means that this is the very first issue of this car. This is the very first issue of this car. Right here. Beautiful Cadillac. I just love this Cadillac. It's an absolutely gorgeous car. There's the metal base. It, Mattel just doesn't make Hot Wheels like this anymore. And this is one of the main reasons why, I mean, I stopped collecting, for the most part, the new Hot Wheels. The modern Hot Wheels are mainly plastic with some metal parts, you know, pieces of garbage. And then Mattel Toy Company has the nerve to not only lower the quality of the Hot Wheels, but also jack up the price. And I'm sick of that. And they're playing their stupid little game. Well, if you want really nice Hot Wheels, you got to pay an extra two or three bucks for those, you know, for the premium Hot Wheels. Now, why don't you just make the premiums as a normal range, okay? Stop playing the stupid head games and make quality Hot Wheels like you used to. That's a nice Hot Wheels car right there. And I think uh, when this came out, it was like 79 cents, 89 cents, okay? Very nice Hot Wheels. I love it's got the basic, you know, the classic black walls with the Kreger mags. I just love those wheels. And there's the back of the packaging. Maybe you can read that. Pause the video and, you know, read that. All right, next up, we've got um, the old number five. Uh, 
fire engine. And I, I didn't know this, but I recently found out that, you know, I always thought that this had a plastic chassis, but oh no, this is mostly all metal. The old number five fire engine like this one, it's mostly all metal. Even that chassis is just all die cast metal. That's a really nice, this is a, this is a heavy Hot Wheel. Very nicely detailed. I can see why that this is a favorite. Um, you know, uh, for many of you, this is one of your favorite vintage, you know, Hot Wheels. It's just a nice looking Hot Wheel. I just really love the way this thing looks. It reminds me of the, you know, the models of yesteryears that were made in England by Lesney. They had detailing like this, you know. Yeah, I just love this fire engine. I'm really happy to add this to my collection. And there's the back of the the packaging, so maybe you can read the year, the copyright year on that. Okay, copyright year. Yeah. Nice fire engine. I just love that fire engine. I like the artwork. I wish I wish these had the full cards. Because the artwork is really cool. So retro, you know. So retro. All right, next up, we got one of my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. It's the Cadillac Seville. Very nice looking Hot Wheel. Uh, it appears that this one was purchased at Fred Meyer back in the early 80s for 97 cents. Now, this is the first issue of this car, the very first issue. Okay, it's an absolutely gorgeous car. It's got a metal body, metal chassis, of course, made in Hong Kong. Okay, uh, the blue windows that uh, is that was usually made in, in is usually they're usually from Hong Kong. When you see the blue plastic like that on early toys like that, that was only available for some reason. It was only available out of Hong Kong. Okay, so they used Hong Kong windows right the blue plastic windows i thought well yeah these cars are made in hong kong so yeah it would make sense yeah it's got the classic black walls of the Kreger mags just absolutely gorgeous car and this is a heavy car i mean that's mostly all die cast metal look at that absolutely gorgeous cadillac seville i mean look at that just look at that car there's a copyright date on the back of the car or card, you know. Yeah. Just love that Cadillac Seville. That's the first issue of that car. Mint in the package. Now, at a, at a later time, I am going to remove all of these Hot Wheels cars. I'm going to free them from their blister pack prisons, right? And I'm going to show them under color corrected lighting. I'm going to show them all on the turntable. So stay tuned for, the, for those exciting episodes. Okay, here's the second issue of this Cadillac right here. I think this one, somebody bought it at Biomart. Let me see what the price was on that. For 89 cents. 89 cents, people, for that beautiful Cadillac Seville, all die cast metal. I mean, look at that, how beautiful that car is. Metal chassis, metal body, you know, this is the way Hot Wheels used to be made. Very high quality cars. And so from now on, in general, I will not be buying any of the new Hot Wheels. They are all, for the most part, they are all garbage. I'd much rather spend a little bit more a little bit more money and buy these older Hot Wheels from either my local Craigslist or from off of eBay. Because then I get quality, I get, you know, uh, part of toy, you know, die cast history. You know, these are really nice Hot Wheels cars. They're very nice. Alright, next up. I think this might be the first, well, now the first issue of this car was red, I believe. And I have that one coming. I got that one coming. But this one, I think, has the gold-plated uh, black wall. 
black oil wheels with the Kreger Max with their gold plated instead of silver. I think that's a hard to find variation, that, that one there, of that, you know, that 80s uh, Firebird. Okay. Love that car. Beautiful car. Again, uh, well, this one has a plastic chassis. It's got a plastic chassis, uh, metal body, but it's a really nice looking car. It's a very nice looking Hot Wheel. I really love this car. Uh, made in Hong Kong. I believe this was from 1986. It was a copyright year on the back of the packaging. Next up, we have a rare variation of the 1965 Mustang convertible. Um, this car usually has a white interior or a cream colored interior or even a tan interior, but this rarer variation has a black interior and I had to pay um, ten dollars to get this car which is still a steal for this car that was a steal for this one you know because normally for most of these cars I paid five bucks I paid Craigslist seller five bucks for you know each for most of these cars but three of them and this is one of the three um, I paid ten dollars for because this I collect this particular Hot Wheel because they're not made like this anymore the new 65 Mustangs they have a plastic chassis and the hood no longer opens up they're pieces of garbage they're not made like this one anymore this is a beautiful 65 mustang with the Kreger mags you know the white wall tires I mean it's just an absolutely gorgeous mustang and the hood opens up to, to show you the engine you know it's just a nice looking vintage Hot Wheel this too is made in Hong Kong. I think 1986 is the copyright date on the back of that card, but you can read it for yourself. Okay. All right. The last car that I have to show today from Hong Kong that were made in Hong Kong is also one of my uh, personal favorite vintage Hot Wheels and that's the the sheriff car right here um, black now this is the rarer variation because the more common variation has the temple extended to the rear doors that's the common variation when you see the rear door white it, it, they extended the temple graphics to also cover the rear door but on the rarer variation like this one it's only got the temple on the, the the main doors themselves so this is a rarer is considered a rarer variation main Hong Kong metal base metal body the blue uh, plastic windows uh, that was only available from Hong Kong so you know at, during this time so yeah this is a very nice looking sheriff car it's very heavy you know it's got a low center of gravity it's wide so this is a good runner on the track it really is and this too yeah made in Hong Kong but I think this came out let me look at the copyright date yeah this one was released in 1986 and I'll try to get up close where you can possibly read that 1986 copyright date okay but I just love this sheriff's car just love this car All right, it's time for a quick commercial break, and then I will show you the remaining uh, 15 vintage Hot Wheels cars I picked up from my local Craigslist. Um, all of these cars, these 15 cars, um, were made in Malaysia. So I'll, I will be right back after a quick commercial break. These are the fast ones, Mattel's new Hot Wheels. Race a car that's got Hot Wheels against one that doesn't, and look what happens. New Hot Wheels. Get them with special tracks so you can race them 
or a stub them. Watch how cars that have hot wheels outperform these other cars. Get Mattel's new Hot Wheels, the fastest metal cars you've ever seen. All right. The next Hot Wheel is a Peterbilt cement truck. I just love the way this thing looks and just the way it's made in general. I think it's a very nice vintage Hot Wheel. It's got your classic black walls with the Kreger mags. And those are my favorite wheels besides the original Redline wheels. That's just such a nice looking um, cement truck. This is something that you really ever find in the Hot Wheels line. This is more like Mashbox, what you would see in Mashbox. But Mattel Toy Company, they did make you know, construction vehicles and military vehicles and things like that. I believe this one is from 1979. All of these were made in Malaysia. But I think this might be the first issue um, of this cement truck. I think this is the first issue of this cement truck. I'm not certain about that. So if, if you guys know for sure, let, let me know in the comments. You know, is this the first issue of this cement truck? You know, I really would like to know. I think it is. I, I really think it is. Especially since, you know, 1979 copyright, you know? Yeah. All right, next up, we got one of my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. It's uh, the Sheriff Patrol car in a beautiful metallic blue color. Um, this is the more common one because it has the tampo extended to the, the rear doors. So this is your more common variation of both the black and the blue um, Sheriff car. I think it's a very nice hot wheel. All die cast metal, metal chassis, metal base. Um, let me see what year this one came out. 1982. So yeah, this one's definitely vintage. Definitely. Definitely vintage. Very nice hot wheel. Love this car. Just love it. Yeah, very nice car. Next up, we have um, the uh, another Auburn 852. This time in a beautiful, looks like it's a metallic gold color. I think, okay, those appear to be black fenders. They're either black or really dark maroon color. But, you know... Uh, classic black wall wheels well black yeah they're white walls but they're the classic wheels they got the Kreger mags very nice looking car metal chassis metal body very nice looking uh, this was purchased at what by Mart for 89 cents I just love that classic artwork I think I have this car coming too this car here I've got it coming yeah, new wide white walls. <laughs> so I guess the white walls first appear. Let me read the copyright date on this. The white walls, according to this packaging, what I'm seeing on this packaging, because it says new wide white walls. So apparently these first appeared in 1982-83. Okay, that's why it's important to familiarize yourself with the packaging. Because it tells you a lot about uh, Hot Wheels history, as well as Matchbox history, if you collect Matchbox cars, you know. So, yeah, study your packaging. Familiarize yourself with the packaging. Okay? Familiarize yourself with the packaging. All right, the next car is another one of my favorite uh, Hot Wheels of all time and that's the Fiero 2M4 
And this one has, I believe they're called the Hot Ones wheels. They're really fast. It makes these cars very fast on the track. They're very fast cars. Now normally they're chrome plated, but this one is the more hard to find gold plated Hot One wheels. You know, the Hot Wheels. Well, the Hot Ones. Beautiful car. I just love that tampo. It's a nice, sturdily made car. I mean, even the base is made out of metal. Believe that. It is, it is painted black, metal base. The body is all metal. I mean, this is a very nice, high-quality car. I mean, Mattel just does not make Hot Wheels like this anymore. They don't. All the new Hot Wheels today, I say the majority of them, are all plastic with some metal parts garbage they're not worth the money do not waste your money on any of the new hot wheels unless you're buying them for your kids to play with that's all they're worth that's all they're good for if you want to collect hot wheels i suggest you instead spend your money on these vintage hot wheels the older ones these have character they're very well made and they have history behind them so these are the hot wheels that i recommend that you collect there's the back of the packaging, copyright information on the back. I don't know if you can read it. But I'm hoping that you can. Copyright year on the back of that. All right, next up, I got like three of these Firebirds. They're different variations. The 80s Firebird. This one, too, has the gold-plated Hot Ones wheels. Very nice car. I just love these Firebirds. This one, plastic chassis, metal base, but it is a nice looking Firebird, 80s Firebird. And I just love that, the bird on the hood there. It just looks really nice. Very nice looking Firebird. I love the classic, you know, the retro um, uh, artwork right there. I wish it had the complete blister pack that would have been so cool there's the red firebird that's the first issue of this firebird i will get that one uh real soon i will show it to you guys but yeah there's that one the firebird 80s firebird and there is the the back of the packaging copyright information Next up, we've got, believe it or not, um, one of the original Ultra Hots, uh, the Solair, what is it, CX-4, let me use my magnifying glass, yeah, the Solair CX-4, this is one of my favorite Hot Wheels, I just love the way it looks, um, and the back part, it does open up, and it shows, an, you, know, an, you know, the engine, um, it has a die-cast metal chassis. The new versions of this car no longer have a die-cast metal chassis. They now have a plastic chassis. I think only the first three variations of the Solaire have metal chassis like this. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first issue of this car. It debuted... As, as an ultra hot it's one of the original ultra hots to my knowledge if I'm um, if I'm mistaken please let me know in the comments but I'm pretty sure that this is one of the original ultra hots and this is the first issue of this particular car the Solar CX4 very nice looking car it has a low center of gravity it's a wide car so this one is a good runner on the track, especially with those ultra hot wheels. I mean, yeah, this is a really nice car. Very nice car. And if memory serves me correct, um, there's two versions of this wing in the back here, the spoiler. There's one that is closed like that, right? And then there's one where you can see through it, it's open. Again, I might be mistaken, but I seem to recall that. So again, let me know in the comments, you know. 
But yeah, I just love this car. Look at that. Yeah, there's the copyright information on that car. Let me read it. I need a magnifying glass. Yeah, 1983. So, yeah, I think this car, this is the first issue of this car, of the Solaire CX-4. Yeah, metal body, metal chassis. I mean, this is just so cool. So cool. I'm really happy to have this one. Really happy to have this one. Now, this one, it looks like it has, like, black plastic. You know, see, there's no interior. But on the newer ones, they have clear windows. And there's actually an interior in there, which is really cool. You know, it's really cool. All right, next up, another one of my favorite cars, a Thunderburner. Well, the Thunderburner. Um, let me see. Yeah, the Black Knight. Um, copyright is 1986. Made in Malaysia. It's got the harder to find gold ultra hot. I mean, not ultra hot. Um, hot ones wheels. This I think is a beautiful Hot Wheel. Just absolutely gorgeous Hot Wheel. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. The Black Knight. Look at that. Look at that. Make sure it's on the camera. <laughs> so you can look at it. Metal chassis. I mean, just look at that. Metal chassis. Metal body. I mean, just look at that. I believe this also came out with the sil the normal uh, black walls with the Kroger mags, if I'm not mistaken. I think, uh, but I, I think this is the, the harder to find variation with the gold all, uh, Hot Ones wheels. I think these are also in chrome, if I'm not mistaken. They're also in chrome, the Hot Ones wheels. All right, another one of my favorite cars is the Classic Cobra. Right here, Classic Cobra. This is the first issue, and the way you can tell, it's got... On the stripe there, only the first issue has this. I think it's got like the number 427 or 447, something like that. It's got the number as part of the stripe. I don't know if you can, how well you can see it underneath the camera, but it's got the number on the stripes. Only the first issue, to my knowledge, has that. And then for some reason, Mattel Toy Company took that number away and they just have the stripes, you know. Yeah. But this one, all metal chassis, metal body. The newer ones no longer have a metal chassis. They no longer have a metal chassis. It's a plastic chassis, metal body. Hood opens up, though. Um, I think the, the, the recent versions of this Cobra, um, not only does it have a plastic chassis, but the hood no longer opens up. The Teletoy Company is really cheapening these cars. You know, and yet they have the nerve to charge an extra 20 to 25 cents for the mainline cars. I mean, yeah. So I basically stopped buying the new Hot Wheels. I have. And I recommend you do, too. Yeah, they're all garbage. Most of them are garbage. But there's the first issue of the classic Cobra. Right there. That's a nice Hot Wheels right there. This is back when Mattel actually made high quality die cast. The copyright year on this package is 1986. Let me show the back of the package so you can read that. 1986. All right. It's time for another quick commercial, and I will be right back afterwards. They're new. They're authentic. They're the fastest miniature metal cars you've ever seen. New Hot Wheels, only from Mattel. California custom-style cars with power bulges. 
torsion bar suspensions, chrome engines, red stripe racing slicks, new hot wheels. There's more. Collect them by themselves or get them in action sets with special track and accessories. So you can race them or stunt them. Choose from the strip action set. The drag race action set. The stunt action set. The hot curves race action set. New hot wheels only from Mattel. The fastest miniature metal cars you've ever seen. car um, is called the Road Torch. Copyright here on the back of this package is 1986. Made in Malaysia. I think that is an absolutely beautiful car. I really do think that car is beautiful. I, if memory serves me correctly, because I've seen this in Matchbox. In fact, I have it in Matchbox. I think the Road Torch is based on, I think it's a Mercedes C111 car. I think is what that is. It looks like a Mercedes C111 car is what that car is actually based on. It's based on a real car. Yeah, the Mercedes C111. And I will show that on my Matchbox channel because I do have that car. But yeah, this has a plastic chassis. That's okay. Metal body, thick metal body, has the ultra hot wheels. Nice looking paint job. I like it. Good, good quality car. I like it. Yeah, it's a nice car. The Road Torch. Let me get it in front of the camera so you can see it, you know. And there is the back of the packaging so you can read all that pertinent information. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got another one of my favorite cars. It's a Mercedes 540K. It's got the Kreger mags, you know, with the white wall tires. Nice paint job. It's a very nice car. I like it. Um, I think, okay, this car normally had, if I remember correctly, it has black fenders. <clears throat> I think the one with the red fenders here is a harder to find variation. Now you guys let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that, but I think this car with the red fenders instead of the black fenders is the rarer or more hard to find variation. So let me know. Also, is this the first issue? I really would like to know that. Is that the first issue of that Mercedes uh, 540K? Um, the roof part does come off to turn it into a convertible. It has metal body, metal chassis. I believe the fenders are made out of plastic. Um, actually, I'm not sure about that. Let me look at my magnifying glass. I don't know. Those fenders look like they're metal, too. Like, oh my God, man. Wow. If those fenders are metal too, then this is a really well made Hot Wheel. I mean, oh my God, man, look at that. Mattella just doesn't make them like this anymore. Yeah, there's the back of that. Read that pertinent information. Okay. Up next, we have. Um, an 80s Corvette. I just love this Corvette. Love this Corvette. I found out something interesting about this Corvette that I never knew. All the years I've been collecting Hot Wheels, I never knew this about this car. That hood right there, it opens up like this. It's really cool looking. It looks really cool. And then you can see the motor on the inside. I've always loved like the luggage. I love seeing the luggage through the rear window. 
It's got detailed seats, you know. I mean, it's, this is a really nice, very nice Hot Wheel. I'm not sure I like the side tempo. I think it look, makes the car look kind of gaudy looking. It takes away from its otherwise beautiful appearance. You know, I think these... Okay, these are the hot ones. The hard-to-find gold hot ones wheels. So, yeah, but it's still a nice-looking uh, Corvette. 80s Corvette. Very nice-looking Corvette. Love that Corvette. And, of course, there is the back of the packaging. Right there. All right, next up is another Firebird, 80s Firebird. I have three of them in this lot of Vintage Hot Wheels cars with different wheel variations. Um, this one, I think, has your classic black walls, Kruger mags. Uh, this one here. Yeah, I, this would have been the one that would come, this, I think, would be the second release. The first release looks just like this, only it's red instead of black. Pretty sure the red one is the first issue, you know, of that car. Plastic chassis, metal body, copyright information. Alright, next up is one of my favorite cars of all time, and that's the Lamborghini Countach. Um, I love this car because it's white. It looks really cool. It's white with, I think it's clear windows and red interior. It's like tinted windows with red interior. But it causes the windows to look like they're red tinted, and they're not. They're not red tinted. It's got the Ultra Hots, you know, Ultra Hot wheels on it. I like the spoiler in the back, you know, just love that car. And there is the copyright date, or copyright information on the back of the um, packaging. Um, I'm actually showing these in chronological order like oldest to the newest, in case you were wondering. Um, this right here is the Baja Breaker, uh, done in the, in the classic A-Team van uh, deco. It's got your larger black wall wheels with the Kroger mags, with their larger tires, all right? Um, the the front hood opens up. It's made out of plastic, but the rest of the vehicle, the whole van, is basically heavy metal body, heavy metal chassis. I mean, just look at all that metal. They just don't make Hot Wheels like this one anymore. This is a very nice van. And let me see this has the, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a really nice fan. I love this fan. Just love this fan. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. There's a copyright information um, on the rear. Hoping you can read all that. Okay, and the last car that I'm showing you today um, is a really cool model. It's a new model. It's the first issue for this car. And it's the Blown Camaro Z28. And it appears to have the hard-to-find gold Hot Ones wheels. Okay. Very nice car. I really like this car. Metal body. Metal chassis. That's right. All metal. Very nice car. New model. Okay, new model. You can see it right there. It says new model. 
That means this is the very first issue of this car. Very first issue of this car. Beautiful car. I just love that car. Metal chassis, metal body. Let's take a look at the information in the back. Now those are all the models, I believe, okay, all the models for, let me read the year. The 1989 Collector's Series. So that's all the models from 1989. Um, right there. Let me try to get the, the packaging closer so that you can, you know, read all that. See if you, how many of these that you have in your collection, you know. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time.